Well, good day, shoppers. Welcome back to your two-week Princess Auto sale flyer, March 1st. That's today to the 13th of 2022. Already. Man, I'm getting old. <laughs> Every day is getting older, that's for sure. Anyways, let's have a look at the flyer here. Oh, fluid film is finally on sale. Boy, I remember paying... When this stuff sort of first came out, it was like 8 bucks a can. Then it went to like 10 And then it jumped to like... 15 now it's 16.99 normal price now it's down for sale for 12.77 so that's not bad and uh well that's pretty cool magnetic variable speed drill press so that we'd attach to like a beam or something you could drill a hole in the beam say like in a building so it's pretty cool i don't really have a use for one of those though. it'd be pretty heavy now that is a long stack stove that's pretty cool little camp stove Wow, trailer jack. $77.77. I don't know whether I'd want to trust holding my trailer up with an $80 jack, we'll say. One that's powered like that. I don't know if that's such a good idea. And these things are great and everything too, but this creates a lot, if you leave it plugged on, a lot easier for someone to steal it to jack up and down onto their vehicle, we'll say, you know. So uh, that's kind of why I haven't really done that yet. Because the old style hand crank ones, this does have a backup hand crank. They are uh, just a little bit more, maybe they wouldn't want to bother with it because they've got to be pretty strong to jack those big trailers up. Anyways, bench grinder, that's all right. Electric winch, ooh. Hmm. Nice little tool cart, service cart. Wow, 2,000 watt gasoline inverter generator. It's got, I can't really tell. I think that's a twist plug there and then maybe just a regular 110. I doubt that would go uh, receptacle. It says right here, receptacles one times 120 volt AC. One times 120 volt AC, 30 amp, I'm guessing. And a 20 amp. Huh. And one 12 volt DC for charging batteries. That's kind of handy. That's pretty cool. I wonder what's in it for a motor. Ultra lightweight, portable, whisper, quiet operation. Doesn't really tell you, but they're <clears throat> 600 bucks, so that's, that's pretty good. Oh, there's some more ramps. Oh, a magnet on a stick. Should actually get one of those. It might be handy. Uh, looks like some advertising. More advertising. Do, 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 do. Back to the sale, please. Oh, there we go. Surplus. Two-pack rechargeable under cabinet lights with motion sensor. Ooh, that's neat. Oh, cool slot machine. You rip yourself off, <laughs> if you know what I mean. I could rip myself off. <laughs> I wonder if it's settable, too, to, you know, Pay out more often or whatever. Thirty dollars. Well, that's got to be pretty small. What's that? Fourteen and a half by eight and a half. No, fourteen and a half long. So it's just over a foot tall. Eight and a half by six. Oh, that's pretty small then. I guess that's pretty cool though. Huh. Got some stainless steel bowls. Good for that. Ooh, quick couplers. Got some of them too. Well, that's kind of cool. Clamping jaw reciprocating saw. That's always been something with the reciprocating saws. You know, you get working all of a sudden, brrr, then the whole thing starts going, right? But yeah. Drill $50, 3 8 lithium ion cordless drill. Oh, there's one of those self healing cutting mats again. I should really get one of those. 12, 18, that's not very big, though. Usually they're a lot more expensive than that. Desktop charging station. That's kind of cool. This, of course, is all surplus stuff. Oh, that's a good idea. A 90 adapter for the U HDMI, because sometimes, you know, you get a plug like, um, like one of these, say, straight out. Well, then it's got to bend the, the, the cable, to because, you know, you put your TV up right against the wall, usually. Refurbished. Oh, I'm not going to look at that. I don't like that word much. Airbag OBD2 code scanner reader for airbag stuff. Interesting. 
Vacuum gauge. Precision knife set. Ratcheting combination wrench set. That's nice. Hedge trimmers and pressure washer. Chainsaw camouflage chainsaw bag. That's kind of cool. $100 for an electric one. Smoker grease bucket. Very sturdy and capable of catching lots of nasty grill drippings. Ugh, that's nasty. Grill drippings for dinner. <laughs> Little watchy battery things. There's all your TV mount stuff. Oh, HDMI to VGA adapter. Really? If you got a really old monitor, I guess, that would be all right. But who, honestly, really would need that? I guess somebody must. <laughs> Haven't seen anything VGA like that for a long time. Oh, that's kind of cool. A little holder thing and stuff for your phone or whatever. Hmm, 25 bucks. It's all right. Lots of surplus this time around. Floor cleats, that's for hardwood nails, hardwood flooring. Stabilizer jack stands. Trailer pins. Fireplace grates. They're really great, those things. Ah. More ads. Oh, there we go. Some trailer stuff. $229.99. Normally, well, you save 70 so it's normally 300 for that. That's all right. My little ones I get for, you know, like my little green dump trailer. And what did I use another one on? Uh, use another one of these on something else, too, the small ones. They don't seem to have those anymore. I don't know why. So that's not good. More trailer stuff. Some tube stuff. Wheelbarrow tires. And little stub axles. That's kind of cool. Rubber cement. Ooh, wires. What size is that? 8 gauge. That's pretty beefy stuff. 12 gauge. Pretty beefy stuff. Now, how much is on one of those? Doesn't say... Oh, 25 foot. Yes, I didn't read quite far enough. Well, that's pretty good. 20 bucks. That's fair thick good wire. I probably would have used that stuff for the wiring on the heavy heavy wiring, battery wiring stuff for the, the tractor when I was doing it, but the stuff we worked with didn't used stuff we used worked good <laughs> some more wiring stuff oh there's some jacks for us for like the big trailers wow they're expensive enough aren't they Ooh, Twelve thousand pound nice nice wheel on that one bolt on swivel trailer jack 45 bucks there's a Two to inch and a quarter receiver adapter. Ooh, RV sewer hose. Oh, pardon me. Sorry, ma'am. RV sewer hose. Stinky. Woof. But that's better than dumping it on the ground, I guess. Trailer hitch lube. Really? They actually make a hitch lube. That's interesting. Hitch pins, hitch mount truck bed extender. I guess if you're taking some long planks or something longer. Piece of carpet rolled up or something. Floor mats, car seat covers. Ooh. 12,000 pound winch. Cam activated. Free spooling for quick cable deployment. Automatic braking secures load. Includes 65 foot of cable and hose fair lead. This thing here. That's pretty nice. Three eighty nine, eh? Not bad. So twelve thousand pounds, but if you ran the cable down to like another block pulley thing and then back up to this thing, you get double your pretty much double your pull strength, I think. Some more seat covers. I think we've seen a lot of seat covers lately here. Ooh, they got their own brand now again, or power fist. Oh boy. I like that one. It's like a seat belt thing. It all rolls up into this thing. That's, that keeps it a little bit cleaner. I don't see the ones... Well, not advertised here anyways, but they came out with these ones where there's like a rubber strap between here and like the hook. So you pull, 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 but you know how straps after a while they kind of 
they'll slacken off, right? And then they get, they're not super tight. So this thing keeps a bit of tension on, I guess, until it went really slack, and then it would just do the same thing. But they were really expensive, so maybe they didn't keep them around too long. Nice air tanks. Retractable hose reels, good for that. That's a nice one there, too. Quarter inch, so mm, pretty small junk. It's probably pretty plasticky garbage stuff, too. Yeah, this PVC air hose, stay away from that stuff. That stuff's garbage. Same, well, well that stuff's probably all right there. That's like the PEX tubing kind of stuff, almost. That's better stuff, the rubber stuff, yeah. yeah Three-eighths a little better, though. This, this quarter inch, pretty small stuff. This stuff's tiny, 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 tiny. Ooh, standblast cabinet, two ninety nine ninety nine. That doesn't have for. Uh, I did never seem to go up. That's about the normal price for the last lot of years for them. So that's good. There's a little gravity feed abrasive, abrasive, abrasive blazer. <laughs> abrasive. That sounds better. Abrasive blaster. Oh my goodness. Ha. Huh. Oh, the hood. Actually, I should get one of those gonna have some stuff to blast at some point here and I don't really have a good blasting hose a head thingy so probably should look for one of them air compressor what does that one put out 18 CFM at 90 PSI maximum 150 PSI wow it's regularly 25 2600 bucks for that wow save six hundred dollars that's a pretty good savings wow hmm it's so all your air accessory stuff. Some more quick attachings and a reel. More air tools. More air tools. Oh, that's kind of neat. Body saw. Ooh, those things. <laughs> what are they called? Hinge drill bit set. Okay. I guess you use the, the hole here and then punches that through the... Okay. Saves you marking it, I guess. Angle grinder, 29-piece cobalt. 35 M35 drill bits at 90 bucks. Ooh, that's enough for that, really. 29-piece so figures. 7-piece. Ooh, that's neat. Little wobbles. Handy for your drill. Put your sockets on your drills. Oh, that's cool. 3.6 volt cordless screwdriver gun. Really? Huh. Someone had too much time in their hands and designed that, I guess, didn't they? <laughs> cool. Power drill brush set, really. That's neat. Some diamond wheels for cutting various materials. Motorcycle lift, that's all right. Low lift transmission jack. Long rim hydraulic jacks, three ton flat bottom. Even got some hoil. They have zero W20 for my wife's car, probably not. Uh, nope, don't see it there anyways. They probably do, but... Now that's kind of cool. I got like a vice grip style one, and they do work pretty good with those big jaws on it. For taking off really annoying oil filters. Very cool. Vehicle care. Diesel fuel conditioner. I kind of wondered if I should run some of this in my truck. I don't know if it needs it or not, but... Low sulfur diesel fuel conditioner lubricates fuel pump injectors, prevents freezing fuel lines filters. That's probably not a bad idea either, actually, especially in the summertime. Diesel fuel conditioner, I think that's the same, only a bigger jug. Brake fluid diesel lubricant. Diesel lubricant cleans and lubricates fuel system, protects against wear. Hmm. Got 30,000 kilometers in my truck now, so really ticked on it seems but you know we've been driving it so orange hand cleaner hey there you go the smaller jug of it marvel mystery snake oil snake oil how do you milk the oil out of a snake i don't know <laughs> 
More ads. Oh, there's some stuff there. High mileage treatment for cars and trucks. 75,000 miles. Whew, that's a lot. Seafoam spray now even. Top engine cleaner and lube. Rush check even. Wow, spraying for your... Deeply to lubricate and prevent seizing. Wonder if I could spray some of that in my body here. Maybe that'll help me from seizing. <sighs> There's that... Uh, Valve spring compressor we used on the Wolseley there a while ago, and it worked good. Don't know how I would have got those valves in and out without that, but anyways. That's a nice wrench set. 24 piece. I wish it was 29 piece. Ooh. Some more hand tool stuff. U joint sets. Adapters. There's some vicey grip things. Oh, there's a nice PVC cuttering thing for cutting up the plastic pipe. Rafter square. Pex crimpers. I think some of the stuff looks like stuff that they had on the last sale flyer. Kind of looks like they just put it back in again. I remember those, I think, for sure. Sliding arm bar clamps. Inspection mirrors. Ooh. A little magnet on a stick. 33 inch. Holy cow. Almost three feet. A whole bunch of cashers. There's a, there's a pulley block thing, so you could run that on uh, through your cable on your winch and then run it back to the winch, and you'd have more pull, and you could... Run back again. You can put another one of these on the winch, too, and run back again to the one thing you're pulling. you got to have even more. It would take a, a lot more cable, and it would take forever to pull it in, but be a tremendous amount of pull. Never experimented a whole lot with pulley block stuff, but it is neat how it works. Cables and rope. Turnbuckle things. Whenever I hear that or see that at the turnbuckle, all I think about is, like, the wrestling ring stuff. Oh, you hit him into the turnbuckle. <laughs> Not the corner or the corner pad or no, it's always a turnbuckle, right? Well, there's a nice cord, hundred foot, twelve three triple end extension cord. Some more extension cord. Oh, there's that O-ring on kit on sale there. Wow, that's like ten bucks off. That's pretty cheap for all those ten bucks. Woo. Should probably go stock up, but I hardly ever use the ones I got now. So, dimmable full spectrum LED grow lights. Oh, maybe that would work on my head. Grow my hair back. Might. <laughs> Some nice buckets. Chicken feeding, bird feeding, poultry fountain stuff here. Fuel stuff. This stuff is always expensive. These pump things. Holy smokes. It's regularly 300 bucks for that. Manual transfer pump. Black poly rope horse halter with 7 foot lead. Interesting. Huh. Slow moving vehicle signs. What the heck is that? Plastic boot jack. Oh yeah, so you put your heel in there and then rip your heel off with that, right? Or your boot off. But Grade 8 hitch pins. The nice lynch pins. Shelving stuff and storage. Storage. What am I thinking? Storage. No, can't think of it. <laughs> storage solutions. There you go. That's what I was after. Just couldn't get that one out. Nice two old carts. Ooh. Two, top drawer tool chest. Ooh. That's actually kind of nice. Don't have room for that, though, so. That's kind of good, actually, too. I do sort of need a bench out there, a seat out there or something, but uh, in the shed, that is. Lightweight disposable coveralls. Now, this is what I had before for my any big, big, bigger item outdoor sandblasting stuff, which I don't really do a lot of, but I built my own uh, sandblaster out of a 40, 30-pound propane tank, and it works good. It works really good, so... Just use where the they filled and you know filled with a valve was filled the propane there. I took that out and put in a a ball valve, and that's where I fill the sand in. And um, I can't remember is that maybe somewhere there too. I put in where you put the air into somewhere there. Anyways, I don't really remember now, but I haven't used that thing for years. 
put a couple little feet on it and some feet on it so it stood up and valve on the bottom too from the yeah that's right the uh, air goes on the bottom and then it's gravity fed open the little valve to whatever amount of sand you want it to come out and then fires it through the through the air and then the air grabs it out the end of the hose and I put one of those dead man switches I think they called it on the end of the hose so works good but uh, if it gets any moisture in it it seemed to bung up and that's like all of them really but you just got to rattle around and give it a little tap on that little valve and it cleans out again usually anyways back to it safety vests some sunglasses and safety glass stuff. More ads. Oh, there's a nice light there. Motion sensor. Trolley. I beam trolley. Oh, well, that's kind of cool. Guess if you had a thing to lift stuff out of things, right? Chain hoist. Chain hoist. Green PVC gauntlet gloves. Jersey lining. Like moo cow? Moo cow? More ads, more ads, more ads. Oh, there we go. We got some water pumps. High flow, three inch gas pump. Doesn't look much different than this one, but different pump, I guess. And some submersibles. Some garden hose. That's a pretty decent looking garden hose. You'd have to really look at it first, though, you know, because sometimes they look really good, but they kink real easy. Like, I can see a kink. Probably where it was banded up, but I could see little kinks in it there, so that might kink again, right? It's hard to find good stuff nowadays for hoses. There's some heaters and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Oh, meat processing stuff. Sausage stuffer. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Meat cutting bandsaw. Wow. I think it was with this. Oh, and it's got a sausage thing on the side, too. Don't know if that runs there or if that actually comes with it, but uh, the thing with this though is you have to have the area and stuff to clean all that after you've used it, right? So I don't know if that'd be such a good thing. Ooh, more stoves. Square camp stove with pipes. Oh, well, that's all right. And some cast iron stuff. Oh, sweet. Nine hundred bucks though for for that. No, it's made by Coleman. Coleman does a lot of camping stuff, of course, you know. So that's kind of cool. Some rifles, 7.177 calibers. Now, in Canada, we're allowed a maximum of 495 foot a second. Any more than that, you have to have a firearms acquisition license. Then you can get up to, like, you know, 12, 15, 20, 100 foot a second or whatever they go at. So that's all right. Well, that's kind of cool. 149.99. Colt Peacemaker. Ooh, the Beretta's kind of neat, too, though. Pretty darn realistic looking though, isn't it? Like they don't have an end colored on it or anything like that. You could go into a store and rob some of that. They wouldn't know. They're going to be either coming at you or skate out of the mine and give you whatever you want. You don't have to uh, shoot it, you know. You just have to use it, we'll say. And man, that's maids are allowed to sell those just like that. Steel utility cart. A whole bunch of little carts and stuff. There's a, there's a muscle maker for you. One of them things. Ooh, shop brush. Ooh, I need one of those too, actually. Oh, there's a 2,000-watt gasoline inverter generator too, 1,600 watts. Doesn't really say what's on it for power or anything, but eh, might be all right. Pressure washer hoses and pumps. 3.3-gallon minute, 3,000 PSI tripex pressure washer pump. When I uh, bought my original pressure washer from Princess Auto, it came with whatever pump was on it. It lasted... A uh, year and a bit, and it, I don't know, it fractured the ceramic plungers in it. So as soon as I took it apart, I knew there was something wrong. As soon as I took it apart, they just kind of fell apart. So I'm like, okay, well, screw this thing. So <laughs> I went and got uh, one of these ones here. I think it was one like this, pretty close anyways. And it's been good. It's been working good ever since. So, But then I had to change the motor, the engine on that pressure washer too, because the power first one just, I don't know, Sometimes it would start and run all right, and other times it would start and just not run right, and other times it wouldn't start, and, and so I'm like, oh, enough of this crap. You get everything all hooked up with a pressure washer, kind of in the middle of nowhere, and then all of a sudden the stupid thing won't run. That ticks you off, <laughs> all right? So I put my Honda on it. So anyways, what else we got here? Oh, there we go. I thought we were almost done. So we got a little handheld uh, wrist-breaking, hole-making thing here. They're uh, pretty cool, especially when you hit a rock or a tree root. Oh, that's neat. Big jackhammer. <laughs> 
120 volt electric jackhammer kit produces 33 foot pounds of impact energy to break rock, concrete, asphalt, and more. So you get a point and a chisel with it, too. That's good. You'd probably never be able to find those again once they're broken. And then the whole thing would be junk. <laughs> right? Because I don't know if that would be standard or not of them. I have no idea why they put a plastic poly drum on a cement mixer. Cement mixing is so incredibly abrasive. I don't think it would take long for the gravel and the rocks and the sand and stuff to, you know, put holes through that thing. But anyways, maybe it would last longer. Who knows? 15 horse. Right, sort, of, sort of an engine like this thing. 15 horse. I think it was a 12 horse that was on the pressure washer. But yeah, Honda clone exactly looks like a Honda. Tell you what, Honda has the market on that to me, for me, that's for sure. They can make all these knockoffs all they want. They're good until a couple of years down the road, and then they're, they start to go crappy. The hoses and stuff, they can't take the fuel vapors and stuff, and they go crappy. But anyways, nice log splitter, Speedco, $2,000, $2, 35 ton. Wow, that's all right. Oh, that's kind of cool. Gasoline jackhammer drill breaker thingy. 8.9 foot-pounds of impact energy at 3,200 beats per minute. Powerful 32.6 cc two-stroke single-cylinder engine. That's actually fairly cheap. It's probably a piece of garbage, but who knows? Nice little chainsaw. Electric motors. Whoa. Little spool valve. Be like if you're a wood splitter forward and back, right? Hydraulic oil, air-cooled hydraulic oil cooler with bypass. There's a big jug of oil. There's a three spool, so you could run, like, your wood splitter back and forth and, like, a lift thing back and forth and something that makes you lunch or brings you a beer. That would be the third one, right? Because you need a beer if it's hot out and you're splitting wood for, for fall. Dual range HV46 hydraulic oil. There we go. Universal tractor fluid. Okay, they sell that now. That's good. There's some fittings and stuff. They do make hoses there, which is really good. They, of course, have all kinds of these things. Let's read on this one. Six-inch bore, 10-inch stroke. So it's a really wide cylinder, but really short. Hydraulic press cylinder used to build shot presses up to 50 tons. Maximum continuous pressure of 3,600 PSI. But you'd have to have a pretty good system like one of these or something. That's uh, 3,000 PSI. You'd have to get pretty good flow for that because it'd be really slow if you didn't. Hydraulic gear pump. One burner propane foundry. Really cool. 800 bucks. I wonder if it comes with a little crucible thing too. I don't think that shows much more of that here. But push bucket ignition, adjustable flame. Minimum propane cylinder is 20 pounds, max 1, 1,300 degrees Celsius assembly required. Huh. Well, that's kind of cool. Graphite crucible stir rod. Crank handle crucible tongs. Petro bond casting sand. Really? They're really getting into all this stuff now, eh? Non-wetting parting powder. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> Casting brush, scratch brush, scratch brush. Huh. Well, that's pretty cool. There's that plasma cutter. It's cuts one inch and severs. That's even better than my hypotherm. Wow. I think I can sever three-quarter inch. It severs one and a half inch. Wow, that's pretty good. Nice. There's the welding hose again. It's all welding stuff. That's pretty cool. Cutting oil. There's all your metal bending and forming tools. Hydraulic punch tool kit. Capacity 1.5 milliliter low carbon steel. Interesting. Bead roller kit. That's kind of cool too, actually. Welder Pro Point uh, 105i MIG gas cord flux welder 289. Wow. Well, I think we might be to the end of our flyer. It definitely looks like the end, yep. 
I would say, yep, that is it. So that is your two-week Princess Auto Sale Flyer, March 1st to the 13th of 2022. Thanks again for watching. You guys have a good day. Uh, I didn't see anything in there particularly I needed. Maybe that um, sandblast helmet hood thing, but uh, I don't have a whole lot of that stuff to do. But uh, anyways, that's it. Thanks again for watching. We'll catch you all later, and you guys have a good day. Happy shopping.